every day you're proving that when we come together to do good works, no challenge is too big, no problem too hard, and, and there is no such thing as a hopeless cause. See heartbreaking images, fields turn to dust, babies with distended bellies, and we say it's hopeless. And some places are condemned to perpetual poverty and hunger. Every time somebody's son or daughter comes and learns about the history of this movement, I want them to know that our journey is never hopeless. Our work is never done. So uh, call me a uh, uh, hopeless optimist, but I actually still think we can get it done. Uh, Non-governmental organizations and civil society are the means to harness that talent and give voice to the voiceless, power to powerless, and hope to hopeless. And he began, like uh, Eric described, to start feeling hopeless and start feeling useless. They said it was hopeless, that it would anger powerful Southern Democrats and committee chairmen, that it risked derailing the rest of his domestic agenda. It seemed hopeless to try and change the status quo. But a few brave men and women saw things different. We're the hopeful strivers who cross the Rio Grande because we want our kids to know. Now that, does, that shouldn't make us hopeless. It's not as if there's nothing we can do about it. It's a lot easier to be cynical, to accept that change is not possible, and politics is hopeless. And the problem is all the folks who were elected